fighters are 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 happy you know they they type happy when they're you know tweeting or whatever um i think roley's uh fighting crews is 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 a is a great appetizer uh for what's to come for ryan isaac cruz has issued a warning to garcia ahead of his upcoming fight against haney in his warning to garcia cruz emphasized the technical skills speed and defensive capabilities of Haney. He highlighted the importance of Garcia being well prepared both mentally and physically for the challenges that Haney will present in the ring. Cruz stressed the need for Garcia to focus on his training and to not underestimate Haney's abilities as a boxer. Furthermore, Cruz pointed out that Haney's undefeated record and his status as the WBC lightweight champion will add to his confidence and motivation going into the fight against Garcia. He cautioned Garcia against overlooking Haney's skills and urged him to approach the fight with the respect and preparation it deserves. The upcoming bout stands as a pivotal moment in the journeys of both contenders. At 25 years old, Devin Haney enters the ring following a commanding win against Regis Progress, holding an immaculate record of 31 wins, no losses, and 15 knockouts. His evolution from the contentious label of an email champ to claiming the title of undisputed lightweight champion and now adding the junior welterweight championship to his accolades underscores his development and determination within the realm of boxing. At the youthful age of 25, Ryan Garcia boasts an impressive 24, one record, achieving a staggering 20 knockouts. While facing a setback against Gravanta Davis in the previous year, Garcia has displayed remarkable resilience, staging a powerful comeback. His latest triumph includes a spectacular knockout victory over Oscar Duarte. Renowned for his magnetic charisma and commanding presence, Garcia continues to assert his dominance not only within the confines of the ring, but also in the broader realm of junior welterweight contention. The upcoming battle holds substantial consequences for the junior welterweight class, brimming with promising contenders such as Teofimo Lopez, Isaac Cruz, and potential adversaries for Haney and Garcia down the line. This showdown's result has the potential to shake up the standings and pave the way for thrilling upcoming clashes. Hey, like, I know, like, we get friendly, but, like, I know what's underneath that. Like, we're ready to go get his ass, like, when they get that opportunity. So that's all I meant by that, you know? Um, Devin's Devin. I mean, he probably thinks he's not fake, you know what I mean? He probably thinks I'm fake, I'm acting, I'm doing this, so. In anticipation of his expected matchup with Devin Haney at Madison Square Garden in the Big Apple on April 20th, Ryan Garcia is already assessing his options for the future. Garcia's journey towards confronting Haney for the WBC World Super Lightweight title has been tarnished by a series of concerning actions and a demeanor veering towards the delusional. As they gear up for the highly anticipated All-California showdown, Garcia's erratic behavior threatens to overshadow the bout with his rival, Haney, who currently reigns as the title holder. But King Rye recently stated in an interview with Fight Hub TV that he would be happy to take on Isaac Cruz. Cruz showcased remarkable skill in his bout against Rolando Romero, securing an impressive eighth-round victory to seize the WBA world title from Roley. This marked Romero's inaugural world title defense since clinching the championship in May of the previous year by defeating Ismael Barroso. Following his triumph, Cruz identified Garcia as a prospective challenger. The Cruz-Romero bout took center stage as the co-headliner alongside the intense clash between Tim Tzu and Sebastian Fundora on March 30th at the illustrious T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. Earlier this year, boxing promoter Oscar De La Hoya suggested Cruz as a potential opponent amidst prolonged negotiations with Haney and Romero. He asserts his comfort with Cruz's aggressive approach, drawing comparisons to his previous opponent, Oscar Duarte, and indicating a readiness for the challenge ahead. Pitbull Cruz, yeah. I definitely yeah. agree with you because yeah. that style is usually what the style, one of the styles you run into a lot. My favorite amateurs, style. And it's, it's boring. Yeah, it's it's my favorite style of all time. I mean, I fought. I don't I can't count how many times I sparred somebody there like that, fought somebody like that, been in the gym with somebody like that. Garcia said that the style is his favorite of all time, 
He mentioned that he had sparred with someone like Cruz, fought against someone similar, and trained in the gym with individuals of that style countless times. He added that Cruz is even smaller than Oscar Duarte. Although Duarte fought similarly, he was possibly bigger, slower, and less aggressive. Nonetheless, Garcia pointed out that Duarte and Cruz share a very similar style despite any denials. Garcia expressed confidence that he could defeat Cruz decisively in fewer than five rounds. He stated that fighting Cruz would be like facing a smaller and slightly better version of Duarte. Garcia mentioned that he had knocked out Duarte before, so he believes he can do the same to Pitbull within five rounds. He also said that it would be easy to land a jab on Cruz, since Cruz tends to come forward aggressively. According to Garcia, Cruz would inevitably have to face some hits. Uh, and he's he, he is definitely much smaller than me, even smaller than Duarte. Duarte fought similar to him, just bigger and maybe slower. And uh, not as, a, I guess, not as aggressive, but still very similar style. Uh, they could deny it all they want, but Duarte and, and, and Cruz had a very similar style. I would just be fighting a somewhat smaller version and possibly a little bit better than Duarte, but I could handle that because, um, again, I knocked out Duarte in eight. I feel like I could knock out Pitbull within five rounds. The management of Isaac Cruz projected that Ryan Garcia would defeat Devin Haney in their upcoming match. The extremely light pair square off for Haney's WBC 140-pound title live on Days and PPV, and either way, they have the potential to bring the division together or demand a big-name match. Last year, Garcia lost his debut fight to Gravana Tank Davis, while Haney advanced from lightweight to unseat Regis Prograis for the WBC title. Cruz, on the other hand, is set to clash with Raleigh Romero, both of whom have previously faced Davis and suffered defeat. Their bout is scheduled for March 30th, with the prize at stake being Romero's WBA super lightweight belt. Previously, Garcia hinted at his desire to seek redemption against Davis, while Romero and Cruz surely harbor eagerness to rematch one of the division's top contenders. In an exclusive interview with BoxingScene.com, Kamashan Gibbons, the manager of Cruz, expressed his belief that the more significant rematch would feature Tank against Cruz. He cast doubts on Garcia's ability to emerge victorious against Haney. He said, Dollars make sense to Gervonta, and Pitbull will be a better choice than Ryan Garcia again. I doubt Garcia even beats Haney. Meanwhile, Bill Haney, father and manager of boxing prodigy Devin Haney, is already charting the course for his son's next bout following the anticipated showdown with Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia must pay for all the shit he's been doing and he's been saying. So that's what it is with us, man. This shit is serious. His sights are set on a momentous unification bout against either the formidable Teofimo Lopez or the relentless Isaac Pitbull Cruz, reigning champions in the light welterweight division. Bill advocates for Devin to square off against Teofimo, the reigning WBO 140-pound title holder. Teofimo's recent contentious victory over Jermaine Ortiz in February adds intrigue to the potential showdown. He added, Pitbull Cruz, you going to get it. As soon as we handle this business with Ryan Garcia, I want to see if you talking all that fat mouthing. A showdown with Pitbull Cruz, fresh from his eighth round knockout victory against Rolando Raleigh Romero, promises to ignite massive attention. It's the kind of clash that could easily headline a pay-per-view event for Haney. Haney's currently a free agent, making it relatively easy to arrange the match if both fighters are keen. Pitbull expressed interest in facing Teofimo and also mentioned a desire to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Ryan Garcia. It's likely he sees bigger paydays and bouts against these opponents compared to Haney, who is yet to establish himself as a pay-per-view attraction. Bill added, I ain't going to disrespect Teofimo Lopez Sr. because I know you got a belt and we got a belt. So I wouldn't put nobody in front of the Lopez because that's the ultimate grudge match. Pitbull Cruz, keep talking. You speeding up that list? If you really want to get it, Devin Haney is the man to go through. Bob Arum, the head honcho at top rank, holds the reins when it comes to selecting Teofimo's adversaries. Should Haney adopt a cautious approach akin to his bout with Regis Progress in a showdown against Ryan Garcia, Arum might opt to overlook him. Cruz wasted no time establishing dominance over Romero. From the first bell to the fight's conclusion in the eighth round, Cruz relentlessly dictated the pace, leaving Romero scrambling for answers. Despite fleeting glimpses of success, Romero was unable to withstand Cruz's unrelenting pressure. Cruz won the junior welterweight title in the process. In the build-up to the match, 
Romero relentlessly taunted Cruz, opting to dub him Chihuahua instead of his usual moniker, Pitbull. The buzz reached its peak when Romero paraded around with a flashy gold chain adorned with a Chihuahua pendant bearing Cruz's likeness during the days leading up to the fight. At the press conference following the battle, Isaac Cruz Sr., the father of the fighter and his trainer, answered questions regarding the chain candidly. He said, We made him eat his words. We trained hard and did what we planned. As far as the chain goes, he can keep it because that is a lifelong reminder of the beating my son gave to him. Regarding his future intentions, Cruz said he wouldn't rule out a rival. He declared that he is willing to battle anyone. Media reports highlighted potential unification matches against Subriel Matias, Devin Haney, and a rematch with Gervonta Tank Davis as prospective future adversaries. Cruz expressed his willingness to take on any of them. He said, I have always said that I have no problem fighting anyone. It is very simple. Both sides just need to come to an agreement, and we can make any fight happen. It is just a matter of negotiating a fight and coming to terms. In the lead-up to the highly anticipated bout between Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia, Isaac Cruz has cautioned Garcia against underestimating Haney's technical prowess and determination. Cruz, himself a rising star with an impressive win against Rolando Romero, emphasized Haney's undefeated record and status as the WBC lightweight champion as factors that will bolster his confidence and motivation. Delusional. He's delusional. I don't know what he's talking about. You probably don't notice you do it. Do what? What do I do? Uh, what do I say to your face and then act behind it your It just back? like, you know shit. I don't even give a fuck right, about it. It doesn't even matter. As the boxing world eagerly anticipates the Haney Garcia showdown, the comments, strategies, and predictions from fighters and their teams only add to the excitement and intrigue surrounding this pivotal moment in the sport. Whether Haney or Garcia emerges victorious, one thing is certain, the junior welterweight division is poised for a thrilling evolution, with the potential for unforgettable clashes on the horizon. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned and we will catch you in the next video.